just this week, our new king of BC, David Eby, told us that he's about to wave his magic housing wand in the provincial legislature. And poof, just like that, BC strata rental and age restrictions are, well, gone. And yes, well, most of the time I like this to be a silly and fun channel while I try and get my real estate point across. Maybe I should put that on the back burner for this video because this is a massive change for so many strata owners and yeah, it needs to be addressed. This in fact is such a serious matter that I'm not even going to ask you to like or subscribe to this channel if you would like to stay up to date on Surrey and Fraser Valley real estate. But I will let you know that if you're worried or maybe you're excited about the changes coming to ownership of strata units, well, you can always book a call with me to see if my team is the right fit to help you achieve your home ownership or real estate investing goals. For a full breakdown of the rental restrictions that are about to be removed, you can go watch this video on the channel. But here are the Coles notes. If you own a strata property here in BC and that property had something called the Form J filed by the developer at land titles earlier than Jan 1, 2010, then yes, your strata could, if they wanted to, by way of majority vote, rule out completely or just limit the amount of rentals allowed. So yes, this change that has just been announced generally only applies to properties built 2011 or before. What this did was created a community of, well, mostly owners. And let's be truthful here for a sec. If a building or development is occupied by mostly or entirely by owners, it will for sure be better kept. It will likely be a better place to live for the residents. However, if you had hardship as an owner or if you wanted to move to another province and keep your property, or if you wanted to keep your property because you could now afford to upsize, well, previously, your only way to exit would be to either leave it vacant or sell it. But the benefit to the strata voting out rentals was for sure motivated by not wanting to put up with possibly transient tenants. Also, they then wouldn't have to deal with landlords or what might become slum lords that wouldn't even try to put good tenants in the property in the first place. But the downside to this is that, well, by removing investors from the buying pool, it doesn't only remove the amount of rentals that are currently available on the market, but when it comes to buyers offering on your property, you have less of them as well. And less buyers for any one particular property almost always means lower prices. So often these rental restricted stratas were really affordable options for owner occupiers, but rentals were not the only restriction allowed in BC stratas. Age was also allowed to be restricted by the strata corporation. And the strata corporation, just so you know, is the collective owners. If they voted in favor of limiting the age of the occupants to, well, whatever they decided on. Most commonly in BC, you would see strata age restrictions of 19 plus, 45 plus, or 55 plus. I have, however, in my career seen 35 plus, 50 plus, and 65 plus, meaning that these communities were meant for adults. Now, sometimes those stratas say that one owner must be of those age groups, all of the owners must be of those age groups, or sometimes all of the occupants in those homes must hit those age limits in order to reside in the unit. So yes, if you were 21 years old and for some reason you bought into a 19 plus property, because I don't know, maybe that age restriction actually kept the price of that property low so you could afford to get in. Well, if you met someone, decided to have a child at say 23, then you would, yeah have to leave the complex. But then you would also likely have to sell because most age-restricted complexes are too rental restricted. Now, if you wanted to have a kid and you bought anyway in an age-restricted complex, well, I'd say you probably should have planned a little bit better, but that's besides the point. But now the BC NDP under their new king has said that these restrictions will no longer stand and that stratas will be opened up to rentals and that only 55 plus age restrictions can stay. But without total clarity on that, I'm not sure if it's just 19 plus complexes that they're targeting or if 45, 50 and 65 plus would also be removed. After all, they did say that seniors would be exempt. And last time I checked, seniors are 65 plus and not 55 plus. 
So there's still a lot of questions that haven't been answered. But now let's break down what this means for you. Because some people are going to love this. And, well, many are going to absolutely hate it. First off, if you're an owner-occupier of a previously rental-restricted strata and you want to keep living there, let's be real. It's probably not going to be as good for your day-to-day -day life. You're going to have units be bought up by investors, or maybe you'll have neighbors leave that are going to become first-time landlords, and, well, they might not be that good at it. And I know it's unpopular to say, but it's true. There are good tenants, and there are bad tenants. And although the same can be said about owners, in my experience in the real estate industry of almost 15 years, tenants often don't care as much for the property or their neighbors as owners do. But the good news is for you owner occupiers that are out there, there's a very good chance that your property value is about to increase. So selfishly, I guess you and I, if we own this type of properties, well, we should be happy. Next, this will actually allow a lot of people that want to move on the ability to move on. And let me give you an example. What if you're, say, for instance, retired and you live in a 2,000 square foot townhouse complex that previously had rental or age restrictions? Maybe now you can move on, buy a smaller unit and keep the townhouse to rent it out and supplement your income. Or if you maybe owned a small one bedroom and it's time for you to upsize, well, you can do the same thing. However, of course, everyone wants to keep those smaller units but very few realistically can. Next is investors, and well, you investors out there should be happy. After all, there's about to be a whole bunch more options for your next rental purchase of previously lower cost units. So initially, you'll be able to pick up a lower cost unit before prices rise, and well, I think you're gonna do great. But what if you own in an adult complex? Personally, I think you're gonna be quite unhappy. Let's face it, the overwhelming majority of you that did move into adult complexes did so for peace and quiet. Many of you moved into those adult complexes because, yeah, they're often better kept. The owners are usually more established in life. Therefore, they're willing to vote through larger assessments and repairs when maybe busy parents of two, like me, aren't so willing to spend the money because we're on a budget. But the 55 plusers out there, well, you're the ones I'm kind of left wondering about. Will rentals be allowed and the age restriction stays? I'm assuming both restrictions stay and, well, probably nothing changes for you. And then that leads me to assume that most of the 19 plus and 45 plus stratas will likely hold a vote in the coming months to change to 55 plus and keep the restrictions totally circumventing the whole thing. Because yeah, most of those owners already in a 19 plus complex are in fact, over 55 plus. And well, with any new restriction that comes into a strata, often the people that already owned were grandfathered in under the previous rules. But what's the reason for all this in the first place? Well, honestly, it's a reaction to the government's inability to actually build units. And the reason we don't have units being built for rent is that, yes, the government's rules also discourage companies and developers from building those rentals. However, I did see something in an article that pointed me towards the government having 2,900 applications for exemptions to the speculation tax because of these rental restrictions. So either they're hoping to add 2,900 new rental units to the market, or they're hoping to tax an extra 2,900 homes in 2023. And yeah, I do think it's probably the latter. But there is a bigger issue that I can see coming, and that is with the removal of all strata rental restrictions, it opens the door for institutional investing that, well, previously just wasn't here. So yes, you might see more companies start to buy up housing just to rent it back to the have-nots. So there you go. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think of these recent changes. And if you have any questions or concerns about these new changes and how they pertain to your specific situation, you can always book a call with me down below using the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in a couple of days.